Hi, I'm um, going to make a video. This here is the Great Rhombi Icosi Dodecahedron. And this is a face, this is a face, and this is a face. 30 squares, 20 hexagons, 12 decagons. I have put rhombus or rhombi breaking down each face into rhombi. I did that for a specific reason because there's 30 squares and then there's going to be, I'm eating a potato chip, 60 um, what I'd call equilateral triangle, two equilateral triangles making a rhombus on the hexagon like that. And uh, so what I say 60 plus 30 that's 90. And there's 10 here times 12, 120, so it's 210 faces. Okay, so I gotta find some here. I'm gonna let me pause. Hi, I wanted to get something uh, prepared. Uh, so if you count all the rhombic faces, though some are on the same plane, there are 210 faces. So if we go to the Pascal's triangle and we go to the 15th row here, you'll see the third number from the left, also the third number from the right, it's 105. Twice that is 210. Okay. So what I'm getting at is this is a um, zonohedra that's composed of this edge length. Actually, I should take that out of there. I just want to show that that was two E modules in the relationship of the height of the overall blue length. So I'm going to take out this part here. And um, you know, take this out too, because I, I just want to show the three lengths here that I'm going to be using. So now, <coughs> the blue length is a little more than what is the corner of a E module. Um, so. It's kind of a large form. It's um, made up of just those blue edges. So what I want to show, which I think is kind of cool, is that the um, red edge is used in the rhombic tricontahedron. And it'll be this length here. And the yellow edge is used in the enencontahedron that's there. Okay, so. Let's have at it. Okay, take all this stuff away. Let's go ahead and build that. I don't know where it's going now. It's stuck or what? It's maybe oh, there it goes. Okay, so I'm getting rid of those three edges. Okay, and that's how I first built the form here. Now, if I take the skin off of this form, you'll see that inside, I left three of the panels on the outside, you'll see on the inside we have the anencontahedra here, oops, here, and the rhombic triconcahedron here. And you can probably notice that I, the center of the hexagonal face is one um, end of the anencontahedra when it touches rhombic triconcahedra, and then the other end of the rhombic triconcahedra is in the center of the opposite hexagonal face. So those two diameters fit perfectly inside the larger form. That's primarily what I wanted to show you. Real quickly, we'll get back to that Pascal's triangle. Remember now, there's ten different directions for the end contahedra, or maybe I never said that before. Okay, where did I put my Pascal's triangle? I just get rid of it. Oh boy. Okay. I did. But on the 10th row, the third num number over is 45. Two times that is 90. That's the amount of faces. And on the 6th row, 3 over is 15. 2 times 15 is 30. And that's the number of faces on the rhombic triconcahedron. So I think 
this is a kind of a fascinating uh, combination of these three zonohedra and these three lengths are what are utilized in the rhombic tricontahedron and the E modules. Okay, that's it. Thanks.